Hey, afternoon or evening or good morning. Niacin flushing. So I just took 150 milligrams of niacin about 15 minutes ago while I was preparing for this. And uh, if you're unfamiliar with what a niacin flush is, well, if you're a customer of Seeking Health, my company, SeekingHealth.com, you've probably experienced niacin flushing or you haven't understood that you were and uh, you wanted to, well, forget that it happened because it wasn't very comfortable uh, or you were nervous about it. So I'm going to open up my phone now so I can uh, tune in with you all. So if you ask questions, um, I'll be there with you to help you out. Um, so I'm tuning in now. Okay. Got it. So uh, should you have any questions or comments or share with others about your experience with niacin flushing, share below. Um, if we have any questions about it, um, I will let you know as well. And also give me a, a thumbs up how the sound is, because I think I improved the sound to stereo. Um, but let me know, because I may have actually completely inhibited the sound and ruined it all together. So uh, give me some uh, thumbs up if you can hear me. I can hear actually myself on the phone here, so I think we're good. So, I took this stuff, okay? I just took some niacin. And I took, so every one of these lozenges is 50 milligrams. And I'm gonna uh, take three more. Just, to, just to, hopefully I can flush more than I am. Um, so, I just got out of the sauna about 20 minutes ago. And um, so I should be Ooh, yeah, I think I'm going to flush well for you. Take this off. Ooh. Ooh, sour. Niacin has a nice uh, sour taste to it. Uh, <laughs> um, so now I've taken 300 milligrams of niacin. And uh, so we should get a good uh, show here probably in about 10 minutes or so. First off, the difference between a niacin flush and an allergic reaction is a big one. So a niacin flush is completely harmless. The first time you've had it, you're like, what the hell? This is scary, but it's completely harmless. So let me show you a slide of what uh, a niacin, or actually anaphylactics uh, can uh, be here. So if you have anaphylaxis, this is an allergic reaction, right? This is, this is where it affects your breathing and other things. But breathing is the biggest difference. When you have a niacin flush, there is no breathing um, disturbance at all, okay? So you can get tight, itchy throat with anaphylaxis. You can get uh, difficulty breathing, wheezing, shortness of breath, lip swelling, hoarse voice, nasal congestion, all that. That is not going to happen with a niacin flush at all. Um, so that is, if your breathing is not affected, but you're getting hot and sweaty, um, well, most likely it's just a niacin flush, especially if you've taken a supplement containing niacin. And th there's certain niacins that uh, are more uh, prone to giving you a flush. And I put a link in the description below of all the papers that I've I'm going to be sharing with you now. Um, and I put a link to this supplement as well. So the, the form of niacin that gives you the flushing is called niacin USP or nicotinic acid. And I don't think this is going to show up very well. No, it's blurry. Um, but nicotinic acid is the preferred form of niacin that I like to use because that's the form of niacin that actually gives your body the benefits. There's actually no flush niacin that exists, but no flush niacin, mm, while it is some benefit, it's not nearly as good as the um, regular niacin. I do use the no flush niacin at times at Seeing Health, um, just because we got so many people, um, when they drank our electrolytes, for example, they flushed, um, especially when you're taking one to two to three servings a day or more. Um, you know, and you're on an empty stomach and you're exercising, you're going to be flushing more. So we, we use the inositol hexanicotinate in our electrolyte. So if you look on the back, 
our electrolytes. There's niacin in here, um, but it is an acetal. Lisa, yes. So let me describe what a niacin flush feels like. Sorry for the glare on my glasses, but yeah, I kind of look like an aviator. I always wanted to be flying a jet plane, but I have bad eyes and I'm too damn big. Um, so niacin flushing symptoms, prickly heat. It literally feels like there's like little pins and needles. It's actually kind of feels good if you know what it is, but you get these pins and needles feeling. Um, the tips of your ears get hot. Your torso gets hot and red. The side of your face can get blotchy and red. See, I'm, I've got a little bit of redness here, but not bad. I need, think I need more, but if I take too much more, I, I might really go for town. Um, so your torso can get red. Uh, you just get hot. You get sweaty. My palms are really sweaty. I'm going to take another 200 milligrams. This is on top of the 150 that I took before plus another 150. So now I'm at like 300, 500 milligrams. That seems, yeah. Here we go. And I'm chewing them to get rapid absorption. This is going to be fun. Ah, and it's sour. It actually tastes good. Um, and it, it, doesn't really affect your legs too much it, it's mostly torso okay uh, kids Bardwell your face turned beet wed, red and swollen yep uh, if you've never been able to take more than 25 milligrams at a time um, that's okay um, you know you just take it with food so if you if you're taking a supplement uh, that's got nice and USP in it and it has made you flush in the past just take it with food so you know I talk about histamine block plus a lot right and here I am um, saying how amazing histamine block plus is to support uh, histamine symptoms and so people run and they buy the histamine uh, block plus to alleviate their high histamine symptoms which can be itchy skin uh, excessive sweating and so on but there is you know niacin as niacin USP 25 milligrams uh, per two capsules not very much but if you take this on an empty stomach you actually might flush and if you go down to one of these reviews down here there is a, uh, a customer right here Sterling was not pleased uh, she caught it this caused itching and mental stimulation and anxiety I think the anxiety came from, well, they thought they were having a, a respiratory, you know, you know, allergic reaction. I don't blame them. That would be scary. We're actually, uh, we've written a notice that we're putting it on all niacin containing supplements at Seeking Health and we've already written it. it. Just needs to be put on the website. And I've told uh, our, our website manager, let's go, let's get on the site. So that will happen here soon. Um, but here, she tried this per my recommendation. Sadly, she's being kept all night after taking this. Didn't start happening until a few days of taking it, which is just strange. And now she's getting itchy from it. Okay. So it's, it's most likely the niacin and the niacin flush. I get DMs about this uh, as well. So just give it about 15, 20, 30 minutes. And that sensation of warmth and the tingling will go away. And here I am. I've taken 500 milligrams. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm sucking. I, I can't get a nice flush going for you. Um, if the red spots are itchy, you're just getting increased blood flow to those areas. And, uh, you know, it's, it's not a bad thing. Just keep in mind, how's your breathing? Just keep checking in. How's my breathing? Are my lips getting swollen? How's my breathing? And that's, that's all you need to be um, really checking out. And, uh, but not physically checking out. You don't want to physically check out. Uh, evaluate, I should use that term. Uh, a lot of people actually want a niacin flush, uh, and that is used for detoxification purposes. Um, it's used for uh, supporting healthy levels of cholesterol, uh, for increasing levels of healthy cholesterol and reducing uh, harmful levels of harmful cholesterol. Um, it's actually supportive in um, lipoprotein little a, which is a risk factor that is very genetic. And if your doctors are just looking at cholesterol itself, LDL and HDL, 
they're not helping you out. They really need to order on you an advanced lipid profile, which includes lipoprotein little a. Very important factor here. I could be extending your life 10, 20, 30, 40 years from this. So listen up. Lipoprotein little a. Say it just like that to the doctor. They should un understand exactly what you're talking about. And especially if you have cardiovascular risk uh, in your family, if there's been uh, heart attacks or um, blood clots or you know other types of problems, erectile dysfunction early on in your family, lipoprotein little a can be a factor and you cannot lower that with typical statins. Um, so you need to be using higher dose niacin, real niacin. You've got to be using this stuff. And we don't make uh, high dose niacin at Seeking Health, but you can find it everywhere. Um, and you cannot use the no flush niacin to reduce uh, or support healthy levels of cholesterol. It just won't work. Um, so, and, and a, a funny story. Um, so, you know, I've, as you may know, I've got three boys and, uh, boys will be boys and you know they've grown up with me obviously over the years and and uh friends will come over sometime and they'll say oh hey hey <laughs> they'll toss their friends some nice and they'll say hey take one of these um uh it's it's really good for what we're gonna go do you know they're gonna go surf or they're gonna go hiking or, or whatever and the kids trust them and they're like pop one of the nice and it's very safe supplement and uh so and they said you got to make sure you chew it and you should probably take two anyway, you're a big guy. So then they, they chew it, they take two and they're like, oh yeah, it tastes pretty good. And they go off and do their stuff and then they like getting hot and man, the, the, the face that they get and my, my uh, boys are just messing with them and just making them uh, feel all weird and freaked out. And then they, they calm down and have a big laugh. And then that friend comes over and then they give it to the next friend. So the games that we do at, at, uh, at my house, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Lola Anzella, your six-year-old took the histamine block plus and went red and hot, but not his forehead. He also had chest pains and what he described as funny breathing. Uh, funny breathing. Um, so if it's affecting breathing, that's, that is a, makes me think, okay, that's questionable. Um, I also think that the immediate anxiety that people get when they start flushing for the first time is um makes them anxious and when you get anxious your breathing patterns get worse and then that uh, breathing pattern uh, actually uh, makes your anxiety increase so it's a vicious cycle so what i would recommend is actually you know possibly getting uh, just some niacin lozenge um, you know from your local uh, vitamin store you can get niacin everywhere um, 50 milligrams, it's hard to actually find niacin at 50 milligrams. Um, we have 100 lozenges in here. Um, so you usually find niacin like 100 milligrams at the lowest. Uh, I purposely use 50 so people can titrate up. But if your son gets the same feeling with just niacin, then we know it's just niacin flush. There is typically, well, I shouldn't say, there aren't really any allergic type um, ingredients in uh, histamine block plus or histamine block. Um, the DAO is derived from pork. So if your child has a pork allergy, um, that can be a factor. Um, but there's no eggs, there's no wheat, there's no um, soy, um, there's no gluten, all that type of stuff is, is not found in here. So I'm actually starting to feel the, the prickliness and the, the heat right now. Um, so, but I, I would, I would definitely, um, check out, uh, your, your son again. Um, yeah, you said it never happened again. Um, but we pulled up the carpets because of a dust mite allergy. Good on you. Fantastic. Um, yeah, it's, it's, if you got carpets in your home and you're struggling with higher histamine symptoms, you got to rip them out. Um, I don't care what type of air purifier you have. I don't care what type of vacuum you have. I don't care how often you vacuum the thing. You've got to rip out carpets in your home. It's a must. Uh, Lisa, will the flushing decrease over time after the body becomes accustomed to it? Absolutely. Um, so, uh, what is the name of that book? 
Who who invented the Scientology um, religion? L. Ron Hubbard. Um, and he wrote a book that talks about nice and flushing. L. Ron Hubbard. Um, nice and book. Clear body, clear mind. Yeah. So L. Ron Hubbard. Um, I'm not going to get into the religion or Scientology at all. I'm just going to leave that out. Um, but the understanding of what my basic understanding, I'm not, I'm not, I don't know anything about Scientology really, except for the fact that L. Ron Hubbard invented it or created it. Um, and that, uh, he was really saying that in order to become one with God, and I could be completely a bit off on this, you need to have a pure body and a clear mind. And so detoxification was a big part of this religion or this practice um, or whatever the appropriate term for Scientology is. Um, so detoxification, sauna, um, the Hubbard Protocol is actually used to this day um, environmental medicine for detoxification. So when New York the Twin Towers uh, got bombed by those airplanes, uh, the firefighters, the police, uh, first responders, all these people got very, very sick from all the pollutants that were being uh, released in the atmosphere from all the burning, the plastics and batteries and printers and, you know, buildings, materials and everything. They got really, really sick. Um, so they actually did the Hubbard protocol. They saunaed. They used the niacin, high dose niacin. And so the Hubbard protocol and the niacin protocol is you basically you titrate up. So you do about 100 milligrams and then you flush um, and then you get in the sauna. Um, and then the next day you double it, you go to 200. And then after that, you go to 400. And after that, you go to 800. So you actually need to titrate up in order to get that flushing. And then you get eventually get up to gram type doses where you're at two grams, four grams. Um, but now you're actually be, you're running a risk of having methylation issues. You're increasing risk of fatty liver. I um, mean, you need to be supporting the methylation. So if you are uh, taking high dose niacin and using the niacin flush specifically for supporting healthy levels of cholesterol, um, detoxification, and you're in the gram doses, you best be supplementing with something like uh, homocystex plus or SAMe um, or methylfolate and methylcobalamin um, because that niacin is, is depleting your uh, methyl uh, groups in a big way but you need to have high dose niacin in order to do that. And a, a little trick too that I share with people all the time is if you take methylfolate and methylfolate is a, is a very powerful form of folate, but if you take it and you get headaches and irritability um, or other type of unwanted side effects from taking that methylfolate, one of the main reasons why we provide niacin at Seeking Health is because um, to, to mitigate those side effects and it works very fast. Um, there was a kid actually to this day, it makes me very sad. Um, very, very sad actually. Um, parents identified that he, this kid has empty Jafar. Um, he's, he's, I mean, the kid is 13 years old. He, he's been taking seven and a half to 15 milligrams of methylfolate, which is a lot for a seven, eight, nine, 10 year old kid. It's a lot for even an, an adult. Um, and this kid would be having migraines, anxiousness, um, crazy irritability, just, just a mess. And, um, so when he would calm down, basically he'd be given the methylfolate during the day uh, or in the morning. And then he came over to our house later in the afternoon one day, but he still had a pounding headache, like a six out of 10, but he wanted to hang out with my son. And, um, and I asked him, I said, Hey man, how you doing? And he goes, I'm okay. Um, and he goes, my head still is really hurting. And, um, so I know the parents and, and they know me. And, um, so I, I said, here, take, take a nice. And so I actually gave him one of these and, uh, I said, you know, let me know how your headache is in about 15, 20 minutes. He's like, okay. And he just kind of walked outside and didn't come back in. Uh, my son and him were playing and he, and, uh, I walked up to him about 20 minutes and said, Hey man, how's your headache? And he was like, what do you mean? Oh, my headache. Yeah, I feel great. So, and, um, I texted the parents, coached them on how to, you know, use methylfolate, coached them how to use niacin, um, niacin flushing stuff. They didn't listen to me. Um, so 
it's sad. The kid is not even in school today because he's still a wreck and he's wrecked because of the, he's over medicated. Um, so it's very, very sad. Yeah. So on that note, the niacin, um, eliminated the headaches that were associated with excessive methylfolate. Isn't there a psychiatrist that wrote about niacin? Yes. Abram Hoffer. Um, uh, Abram Hoffer is a, um, uh, brilliant guy when it comes to niacin. Um, so there's all sorts of books on, well, I shouldn't say all sorts of books on niacin, but there's a number of them. Reading through your comments here. Yeah, it is terrible. It's really sad. Um, there's a lot of fear with niacin. Um, you know, I, I don't know if I help create that fear. Uh, because niacin does deplete and uh, diminish methyl groups, but again, it's, it is very high dose. Niacin is a very important compound and nutrient um, vitamin that your body uses. Um, it's very, very powerful, and uh, you, you need it. Um, if you don't, you get very, very sick. So um, just make sure you use it right. And again, if you get niacin flushing, it's totally fine. So I'm, you can see, yeah, look at that. See, redness right now my neck see that so you can see that it's it's patchy so I've got the niacin here and the flushing on my neck how's my chest sorry I'm doing a self-inspection not really seeing much yeah no real uh, flushing there my hands are not really splotchy either but my face definitely you can see it right here all down my neck and see all this splotchiness but my breathing absolutely fine and I had to take like 500 milligrams for this to happen and it took how long we've been talking for 20 minutes so it took me about 10 15 minutes to start the niacin flush um, my stomach is fairly empty um, but not completely empty Um, what circumstances would I take niacin? Uh, methylfolate side effects, uh, for sure. Um, so that is, is number one. Uh, that is the most read article on mthfr.net. So I'll go there right now. Um, a lot of people get methylfolate side effects. So this is a site that I... Uh, created years and years ago um, and uh, I was not the first to discuss empty Jafar by any means um, but uh, I definitely blew it up and created increased awareness um, so methylfolate side effects you got irritability insomnia sore muscles achy joints acne rashes ang anxiety palpitations nausea headaches migraines nerves burning and stinging runny nose and so on um, and then here we go right here so, so I originally I said there's two things, then there's three things, there's four things. I actually came up with seven different things that you can do to support methylfolate side effects. Um, the the best one by far is this one. Uh, Fifty to one hundred milligrams of niacin is uh, amazing. And here I even talked about the flushing a little bit. Okay, you may experience flushing for twenty to thirty minutes. It's fine. Okay, so our optimal sleep at Seeking Health has niacin, um, uh, sleep one and two. Our histamine block plus has niacin. Um, our multivitamins have niacin. Our B-complex pluses have niacin. If you take any supplement with niacin in it with food, the uh, likelihood of you flushing is greatly minimized. Uh, if a person were to take niacin for lowering cholesterol, how long would it take to get results? Great question, Lisa. I don't know. Um, I don't really study lowering cholesterol too much. Um, it's not really, doesn't excite me. Um, I prefer lowering cholesterol by movement, exercise, and through diet. Um, yeah, so I'm actually getting a bit hotter, but this flashiness is staying on the side of my face and my neck. And uh, my forehead, not too bad. Yeah. 
Uh, what time of day would be most advantageous to take niacin or should one take several doses in a day? Um, I'm not a fan of taking supplements every day. Um, the only supplement that I take almost every single day is, is this one, the electrolyte. Um, but uh, I don't really, my wife takes niacin. She keeps a bottle of this uh, in our sauna uh, area, in the bathroom by the sauna. And she's in the sauna right now actually with her friends. Um, and she takes it every time she gets in, um, every single time like clockwork, along with a PQQ. Um, I take glutathione before I get in the sauna. Taking niacin, helpful before bed, helpful if you're angry or irritable. Um, glutamate and niacin um, are useful. Um, so in terms of well, the relationship, so niacin supports uh, glutamate metabolism. Um, and I forget the mechanism of action, but methylfolate actually increases glutamate release, which is excitatory, which also is why you get headaches and irritability. Um, but niacin before bed is great. So I've got my 500 milligrams of niacin before sleep. So we'll see how I sleep. Um, but again, I've got niacin in, in both optimal sleep one and two, um, because of the glutamate. Glutamate's excitatory. You need to knock that down. My head feels a bit funky now, actually, from all this niacin. Feels weird. Any other questions, folks? So I, I get that the niacin flushing is not comfortable. It's not good for public appearances. Um, I've actually, when I was in med school, uh, it was actually the first place I got a niacin flush. It was embarrassing. Um, I remember sitting in class, I think it was botanical medicine actually, and uh, I was flushing like a fool and I, it actually scared me. So I totally uh, understand the, the fear uh, with this. That's why I'm pushing my team to get it on the website about nice and flushing. Um, and, uh, but it's, it's, it's actually a, a great thing to have done for your body. It increases circulation. Um, it's nice and warm in cold Seattle. Um, it's fun uh, for teenage boys to do it on their friends uh, as a gag gift or a gag prank. Um, and uh, it calms the brain. Um, it can support healthy levels of cholesterol, taking in high, high doses. Um, but make sure you support your liver with things like SAMe, um, but better yet, um, something like Homocystex Plus. Um, yeah, but just put up with the niacin flushing. And uh, I talked with um, Tom, who's director of education here at Seeking Health, and uh, he was helping me write the blurb for the niacin flushing that's going to go on the website. And um, super smart guy. And, and uh, I said, should, should, look, should we just switch all the niacin at Seeking Health to the no, no flush niacin? He was like, no, definitely don't. Um, we just need to educate uh, our customers that the, the niacin USP or nicotinic acid is the right one, it's the one that you want. Um, we just need to inform you all that uh, flushing with niacin is fine um, and it can be reduced by consuming it with food. Is there a counter to too much niacin? Uh, yes, there is. Um, yeah, so you're gonna be, so too much niacin is gonna hurt your liver, if again, if you're in gram doses. So you need to be using things like SAMe um, creatine, phosphatidylcholine, or something like uh, homocystex plus. Um, and you need to go to your doctor to, um, not immediately by any means, but to check homocysteine levels. If your homocysteine levels are elevated, then you need to be supporting your homocysteine levels and you need to be talking with your doctor about that too. Um, so yeah. Yes, high dose niacin can cause problems with the liver. I'm talking gram doses not milligram doses, gram doses, you know, one gram, two grams, three grams, and long-term basis. So the 500 milligrams that I just took, you know, my methylation is maybe a little bit compromised based upon that. But, you know, if I eat a salad tonight, which I don't think I'm going to eat anymore tonight, I'm going to try not to, um, try, I don't like that word. I'm not going to, um, then I will, I take my multivitamin, I use Optimal Man. So, and I took my Optimal Man this morning and uh, along with a, 
uh, a smoothie that actually had some optimal prenatal in it too. I just feel like I need more nutrients because we had COVID in our home and uh, I'm just burning through the nutrients uh, more and more. Uh, it's nice and good for sleep apnea. Um, I don't know. I, it's not my first go-to. Uh, it's nice and help with MSG detox. Uh, great point. Um, yeah, absolutely. Um, magnesium, B6, lithium orotate, and niacin would be my go-tos um, for, um, <laughs> you saw me itch, uh, a little bit itchy. Uh, yeah, so if you are exposed to MSG unknowingly or knowingly because you want to go to that Chinese restaurant um, and you get a headache or a migraine, then lithium orotate um, is great for supporting against glutamate toxicity, magnesium and vitamin B6, very, very useful for um, glutamate toxicity and niacin as well. All three of those are phenomenal. Um, so we have... Uh, magnesium B6 available at Seeing Health as Magnesium Plus. Um, and then we have Lithium Orotate. And then we have the Niacin, obviously. All right, all. Well, I'm going to take my flushing self into the house and uh, play with the cats. And uh, actually, before I do that, I've got a big meeting tomorrow at Seeing Health i got to prepare for. And uh, I've got a, a new supplement that I'm working on. Look at this serotonin nutrients Ooh, yeah i'm excited i think there's some niacin in here yeah there's some niacin in here because i love niacin but yeah there it is we've been testing this on a number of people lots of people and uh their moods have just perked right up so i am very excited for you all who who have uh low moods um you know sadness and, and what have you because that stuff right there sitting on my desk is gonna sometime soon within probably a few months from now is gonna land in our warehouse and will be available to you all and serotonin nutrients is gonna be fantastic um so i love formulating and uh so that's why i got to do all day and help teach you all and i learned from you all too so take care have a great evening day or afternoon wherever you are in this amazing place.